start separating the components of this unknown. How do we do it? First, you want this solid unknown to be in a solution form. For that, we are going to take this compound and dissolve it in ethyl acetate. What I would like you to do first is weigh this vial containing the unknown. Note down the weight exactly to the fourth decimal place and then transfer the contents of this vial to a 100 ml beaker. If you want to use a glass rod to loosen the crystals that is fine, but then the glass rod has to stay back in the beaker. After transferring the unknown, take this vial back to the balance and reweigh the empty vial. Notice that this vial is not all that empty. There are some crystals sticking inside. It is okay since we are doing the weight by difference method, if there is some compound left in the vial, it is perfectly all right because we know exactly how much we have taken in this beaker by weighing this vial with the unknown first and then after transferring the unknown, reweighing it. So note down the two weights and the difference between the two weighings will give you the amount of solid you have taken. So let us dissolve this now in a suitable solvent. The suitable solvent that we have chosen is ethyl acetate. Remember we made a graduate cylinder for ethyl acetate. So what I would like you to do as I said is get 60 milliliters of ethyl acetate. Now let us dissolve this compound in 20 milliliters of ethyl acetate to begin with. I have taken 20 milliliters. Again, it is really not crucial that you take exactly 20 milliliters. It could be 18 to 22. It doesn't really matter. This is not a quantitative amount of solvent. We want to ensure that all of the solid really dissolves. So 20 milliliters is an approximate volume that you would like to start with. But at the same time, you don't want to start with 15 or 25. Anywhere near 20 milliliter between 18 and 22 is okay. So let us pour this ethyl acetate. And stir the mixture. It may take a few minutes for all of the compound to dissolve. But that's alright. So we will continue to stir. And if you have to crush some of the crystals using the glass rod, please do so. Once this compound is dissolved in 20 milliliters of ethyl acetate, we want to transfer this solution into the separatory funnel. And of course, since we took a known amount of solid in this beaker, you want to transfer the solution quantitatively to the subfunnel. What do I mean by quantitative? Quantitative means you want to transfer pretty much all of the compound that you took. How can we do that? You pour this solution into the separatory funnel and then keep rinsing this beaker with a little bit of the pure solvent and making sure that all of the solution in the beaker has been rinsed and the rinsings have been added to the separatory funnel. That is close to being quantitative transfer. Okay, I noticed that pretty much all of the compound has dissolved except for a few crystals. So I'll just stir it a little bit longer.
okay it's all dissolved now we are going to transfer this solution to the separatory funnel